This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on hackerarsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. And now for a special demo presented by John Pacific, who is a cryptographic engineer at NewCypher. He will be demoing Umbral, which is a threshold proxy re-encryption scheme. Hello, my name is John Pacific. I'm a cryptographic engineer at NewCypher. Um, today I'm demoing uh, Umbral, uh, which is a threshold proxy re-encryption scheme. It is designed by a cryptographer in, at the University of Malaga in Spain. His name is uh, David Nunes. So let's jump right into it. First, we start off by importing our library. So we do from Umbral, import Umbral. We declare it here. Here, we're generating the key pairs for Alice and Bob, which we'll, we will use in the demo. This is Alice's private key right here, and Alice's public key. Bob's private key and Bob's public key. Next, we're going to encrypt some data for Alice using Alice's public key and the plain text, which is a byte spring. In the output, we will get a capsule object, an umbral capsule object, and the cipher text, which is just byte string, which you will see here. Next, we're going to decrypt the data for Alice. This means we will use Alice's uh, private key and the capsule uh, created in, the, in this last step here, the ciphertext here, and Alice's public key to verify it. And as you can see, this is the correct plain text. Next, we're simulating uh, passing this capsule to Bob through a side channel. Uh, which can be through S3, IPFS, Google Cloud, etc. Um, typically, this is just used for the uh, re-encryption scheme. Next, we're going to try to we're going to have Bob try to decrypt uh, the data without being granted access to it through uh, proxy re-encryption. So he pass, puts his capsule in, his private key, the ciphertext, and the public key. And you'll notice the decryption fails. He does not have access to the plain text and he cannot decrypt it. Next, we're going to actually generate the re encryption keys and split them. This is similar to Shamir's secret sharing. Um, so we do this by calling split re key using Alice's private key, Bob's public key. So essentially, Alice is granting permission to Bob and we generate 20 re keys with a minimum of 10 needed. Uh, to recreate the secret. You can see this by doing the length of the kfrax, which is 20, and only 10 are needed again. Next, we're simulating Ursula. We simulate Ursula by sampling a random number of kfrags in that list, so we only, and we sample only 10, and then we call re-encrypt on that using the capsule and Bob attaches this to his capsule. He gets C frags, and that's what he does. Next, Bob can reconstruct the capsule and decrypt the ciphertext. You can see, here he has it. And this is how he does it. He just passes in his capsule, uses his private key, the ciphertext, and Alice's public key to verify it. And that's it, it's very simple. Thank you. Also make sure to subscribe to our YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook so you don't miss out on any of the latest cybersecurity news. This episode is brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on hackerarsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.